right? So guys, this is also a general plane motion example for a rigid body where I have one, two, three translation. VA is given in magnitude and in vector form. In fact, VA is equal to what in vector form? It's equal to minus 4J, all right? So it's equal to minus 4J. And VB in vector form is equal to plus or minus VBI. So I'm going to keep it as VBI. And then the sign could be inside VB. And VC also is equal to VCI. Now, E will be, of course, oblique, all right? So, E will have two components in I and J, and I want to determine the velocity of E. Think about it, guys, how to do it, how to find the velocity of E. I should start, first of all, by what is known. I know VA, so I can, for example, relate B to VA. If I relate B to VA, I can find VB. And I can find omega AB because, in fact, the vector equation will give me two unknowns, all right? Because it will give me two scalar equations and I entity. If I know omega AB, then I can find the velocity of D because D belongs to AB. So I can relate VD with VA since I know omega AB, which is the same as omega AD, I can find the velocity of D. And whenever I know the velocity of D, I can find the velocity of E. Because in fact, VD is known, I can find VE from the equation of a uh, uh, relative motion. All right, guys? So let's do it. So I know that VA is equal to, or VB, it's the same, you can start by VA. But VA is known, so let's find VB. VA is equal to VA, which is known, plus omega ABK, or plus omega in vector form, cross R, R what, guys? R A with respect to B, or R B with respect to A? It's RB with respect to A. And don't forget, guys, that RB with respect to A is AB. All right? So I need to find AB in a vector form. AB has a negative I, but a positive J. And I know the, uh, these uh, portions, so I can find AB. All right? So AB in vector form is equal to 550 negative i, so five, minus 550, 4 over 5 i plus positive 550, 3 over 5 j. All right, guys, so this is a b. Now I can substitute. AB in the equation of VB. And this means, guys, that VBI is equal to minus 4J plus omega AB. K could be positive, could be negative. Cross AB, which is minus 50, 550, 4 over 5, I. Plus 550, 3 over 4, J. Okay, so I'm going to start from here, guys. How to find this cross product? It's, in fact, K cross I and K cross J. Now, if you do K cross I, so this is I, J, K, 
OK. And this is, let's say, the positive direction. So K cross I is in the positive direction, which means it's going to give me plus J. While K cross J, K cross J will be in the negative direction, and it will give me minus I. Right? So this means that VBI will be equal to minus 4J minus 50, 550, 4 over 5J minus 550, 3 over 5I. Oh, I forgot Omega. So times omega a b of omega a b j minus five hundred fifty three over five omega a b i. All right, so in I, in I, this will give me what? This will give me that VB will be equal to minus 550, 3 over 5, omega AB. And in J, it will give me directly Omega A B, right? So zero will be equal to minus five hundred. Uh, sorry, minus four, minus five hundred fifty, five hundred fifty, four over five A B. And this means that A B Omega A B is negative, and it's equal to five over five hundred fifty. All right. So I know Omega A B, and I can also predict VB. But what matters for me here to find VE is omega AB. Whenever I know omega AB, it's the same as omega AD because D belongs to AB, right? So omega AB is the same as omega AD. So I'm going to repeat the relation between A and D to find VD. So VD also is equal to VA plus VD with respect to A, and then this means, guys, that VA is known, it's minus 4J, and VDA is omega DA, which is the same as omega BA, K, and this is known, remember it's known, we already find cross RD with respect to A, which means cross AD. AD could be found from diametry in I and J, then I can find VD. Whenever I know VD, I can relate it to VE. So VE, which is a question, in fact, is equal to VD. But now it's omega ED, and omega ED is the same as omega EC. Right, so plus omega ED cross R E with respect to D, and this is D. All right, so guys. I can find VE now because I know VD from this equation. And then from the from this equation, I can have two unknowns. I can find two unknowns. VE, in fact, 
or no, I cannot find VE because I don't know the direction of VE. So I need to find omega ED. How to find omega ED? Omega ED is the same as omega EC. So I can find omega EC by uh, uh, doing the equation between C and E. So guys, it's, it's all about the same concept, different equations. So I can say that VC is equal to VD, which is also known, plus omega ED or omega CT, CD, it's the same, cross DC. All right? So from these two equations, I can find VE, because VE will have two components, VEI and VEJ. And then also I can find omega ED. All right? So guys, this is for the plane motion, the general plane motion of a rigid body. You have, in fact, only to know how to use uh, the equations of relative motions, right? So you have, first of all, to take the known velocity, which is here VA, mm -hmm. and try to relate it to another velocity in order to find the angular velocity. And since D is common between these two roads, so it's the key. Whenever I know VD, I can relate this VD to VE and VC in order to know all the unknowns. All right, guys?